Jen to you. My name is Yip Chen Kong, and then today I will present to you what the main project color detection. What is color detection? Color detection is necessary to identify object. It, it is also used as a tool in virtual image editing and drawing application. Color detection is the process of detecting any color names. This is extreme simple task for hu human, but not for computer. The human's eye and brain work, brain work together to convert light into color. The photo which also present in our eyes transmit signal to the brain. Then our brain recognize color. Since childhood, we have made certain light with color name. We will use the same strategy to detect our color names. For the color data set, I made up three primary color, red, green, and blue. It's in computer, we define each color value within a range of 0 to 255. So in how many ways we can define a color? The answer is 256 times 256 times 256 equal 1658137975. That are approximately 16.5 million different ways to re regen a color. In our data set, we need to map each color value with their corresponding name. Okay, before we start write the program, we need to have color data set and install OpenCV, Pandas, NumPy to install them. Simply run this by this big command in your terminal. After install the module, we start write the program. For the first step, we need to prepare the data color data set. We, we can get the color data set from Google and copy to Excel. In the Excel file, we have color and actual color name. Here's the hex value and RGB color value. This is the, the one color. This is the color data set. Why hmm, more? Okay, for the first step, we need to import module to using. Okay, for the CV2 is the module import name for open CV Python. And then for the second line, import NumPy as MP. Is tell the Python to bring the NumPy library into your current environment. Okay, for the import Pantax PD, it's a popular Python based data analysis toolkit which can be import using for the Im import M approach. For the step three, we were taking an image from a user. We will import apps to use. For the import and price is the big common common life I've seen in the in the and then is to create an argument process. We can directly give an image path from the command from. And then this all and then this all coding line is for create the creating argument human parser to take the image page from command line. Okay, this is for for this is we we use for instanter the argument parser object as m and pi. And then this we also use for And then we must specify both shorthand and longhand version. This is requirement argument is not at by requirement true. And then for the this one is for we can instruct Python and the library to paste the common common line argument. 
I also call the vault of the object to turn the paste command line argument into a Python directory where the key to the directory is, is the name of the command line argument and the value is the value of the directory supply of the command line argument. And then for the these two coding, coding is for reading the image we opens opens CY. And then for the open, and then for the this, uh, this coding line is for load an image from the specified file. And then this, this two line is for declaring global variable. Also in the step four. And then this is will present the. In the following step, we will define the two function to make the application work smoothly. We need to use some global variable. The variable is us help us know if the user click on the image and is also click to where s position v position and what a uh, RGB value RGB of that pixels. And for the this two line is for reading CSV file with pantas. This two line is for step five. Reading CSV file with pandas and giving name to each column. Yeah. For this line is, is, is an inbuilt function in Python. And then this line is load it into the pandas data frame. The CSV file we download does not have color name and I will, will be define them in the program. This process is known as data manipulation. And then this, this coding line is for the step six, calculate distance to get the color name. This will calculate the minimum distance from all color and get the most matching color. And then this line, def, def, def draw function event is for the step seven. We will create the callback, callback function. And then for the step, and then for the this line, we will for the for the step A, and then set the mouse callback. And then for the CV2 name window is for it is used to create a window with a suitable name and site to display image on the image on the screen. Now. And then And then for the callback function, and then for this, to here is for the steps nine, display image on the video. Okay, for the CV, I'm so. It will, it will draw the image on the video. Okay, for the CV2 rectangle, it will draw a rectangle. For, and then in call, uh, follow the starting point, end point, and then color thick and the thickness. And the CV2 put text. If a method is used to draw a string on any image, and then we will get the CV2 line AA as uh, some is a drawing function in OpenCV. And then after that is the 
step 10, we will close the program. And then the coating line is this. Okay, for the CV2 weight key, it's for the allowed user to display a window for given millisecond or until any key is pre present. Okay, and then for the OSS, the uh, means hexa, the one is also 27 is because the ESC key is 20 equal is the 0x at 0 at ff digit. La. And then I will present now to you the how to how to work the we can go to CMD. And then we and then we copy the image path. And then we go to Google. We go, we can find other picture. We can download it. Because the CMD we put it, we can just only put it here. We can apply a like image. Okay. After we save it, we take the image that just now we rename one and put the JPG mask is JPG format. And then it will present this image. Okay, then we will it will collect, we will present the color name and RGB value like this. The, the rectangle also will follow the the mouse double click color. Okay, that's that's all for my that's all for my presentation.